Today I wanted to do a video on how I put my mark or maker's mark on my knives or how I etch the knives. I use a, an electrochemical etcher. The one I use is a personalizer. It's made by Electrochem uh, Etch Incorporated in Brea, California. There's a, probably a lot of them on the market, but this one's fairly inexpensive. Um, coming off of that, you've got pretty simple an on off switch and then either a etch or a mark switch. When you're in mark you're using AC or alternating current and what it does it eats away some metal, puts it back, eats away some metal, puts it back so you get a dark um, mark on your on your knife. Uh, it's not very deep. I like to use the etch mode where it's in a direct current or DC current and it just eats away the metal and it leaves a deep pitted mark. I just prefer the way it looks. Uh, attached to that is a lead and um, a carbon brush. The lead will clamp to the knife, the carbon brush. Take a cotton pad and put it around it. Hold it in place with just a rubber band. And you've got uh, electrolyte. Um, this is a general purpose electrolyte. Um, I've got some poured out in this little dish. Um, you can, there's a lot of them on the market. Salt water even works. Um, but I've got this, came with the machine. And then a cleaner. After you're done, you need to get the electrolyte off of the blade, otherwise it's going to rust the blade in the areas that it touched it. So you've got to clean it up fairly well. The night, or to get the actual stencil on there. This is a very, very thin stencil material uh, to mark on it. Uh, just use a typewriter, an old Smith Corona typewriter with the ribbon removed and it actually cuts through it. It looks like tracing paper but it's a lot thinner than tracing paper. The knife that I'm going to be marking today is the last one I made. Uh, it's a rather large one. Um, it's got burlap um, crash card of scales. It's got a homemade mosaic pen in the center and uh, it's made out of 1095 steel, 3 sixteenths and I generally mark them on the left side of the knife just inside the grind area. Um, you can mark them anywhere. You can put them up in the flat area. You can put it on the spine of the knife. This is just where I prefer to do it. So what I do is I line everything up. I get my electrode attached to the knife. Get everything out of the way here. Need that to complete the circuit. Get my stencil. Line up my stencil. I want to put it just inside the grind area. Making it as straight and even as possible. We'll find out when I'm done how well I did with that. Hope my hand's not in the way and you can see that. And then I dip the pad into the electrolyte to soak it. I've got it in the etch position. I turn on the power. Now I hold this on there for about 70 seconds. So I want a nice deep cut. So right now it's eating away the metal on there. I just turn it off, remove the pad, remove the stencil, take a paper towel with some cleaner on it, and 
remove the excess electrolyte from the blade. You can see it's fairly dark on there now. I'm going to buff that out real quick and I'll be right back and show you what it looks like. And after a quick pass across the buffer, that's what we end up with. How well that shows. Thanks for watching.